me break it down right quick for my haters, my dictators, and bad raiders. Since you never seem to get it right no more, they're right no more. Kick back your feet and watch your back from perpetrators. My game's. find a cup so we're just using this for today but i use these all the time it's really really much the same thing honestly I, as y'all people i'm using these for my juices and stuff but besides that i just wanted to give a thanks to ag1 for sponsoring this video as y'all saw before in my other vlog if y'all peeped that uh, i had worked with them actually before so basically ag1 is a nutritional drink and it has pretty much everything all in one <laughs> literally everything all in one you got your vitamins, your minerals, everything. You know what I mean? So if you're waking up in the morning, as y'all saw, as I did early in the morning, you got to go work out and you can't make a quick green juice. You can't make, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, you don't have time for it. I think this is smooth because you just on the go. It's just one scoop, put it in your water, shake it up, you know what I'm saying? Drink it and you, uh, you know what I'm saying? You're on to your day. So I got to work out after this. So I'm about to just drink this and then head over there and kind of in a rush a little bit, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's quick and easy, man. So you're waking up. It's the best to really to do it in the morning on an empty stomach. That goes for anything, anything with juices and fruits and, you know what I'm saying, be able to get all your nutrition and vitamins and, you know what I'm saying, everything in at once. So the other good thing about AG1 is that they lifestyle friendly. So if you're paleo, vegan, keto, dairy-free, gluten-free, all those. So I think it's perfect for everybody. And it has a lot of good factors with AG1. It's an energy booster, endurance. If you're working out in the morning and you're feeling sluggish or whatever, I think this would be good on an empty stomach like I said, to be able to, you know what I'm saying, take this uh, before your workout and be about your day. It's good for brain health, gut health. I think gut health is something huge that we, like I said, we don't take as serious. And that's not to down anybody or nothing like that. I just feel like growing up, we always just kind of wanted to eat what we wanted to eat. And you know what I'm saying? Don't think about consequences or, you know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy, but I mean, that that's life. You know what I'm saying? You always gonna learn and gut health is definitely very, very important. You know what I mean? Being healthy wise and you know what I'm saying? Trying to be, like I said, the best you can be. It's good for recovery. So, you know what I mean? After the workout, if you, you know what I'm saying? You feel sore during the day or like me, I work out a lot. So I'm huge on recovery. You know what I mean? To be able to stretch, to be able to feel loose and be able to go again <laughs> and do the same thing the next day. It's also smooth. So that's good for this. And the thing about it, dog, like what's crazy, it has 75 vitamins. You really getting everything. Everything all in one is quick and easy. No GMO, no gluten, no dairy, no artificial flavors. You know what I mean? So you getting you getting clean, you getting some clean stuff, you know what I mean? So it's definitely good, man. If you wanted to check that out, I'm gonna put the link in the description box below if you wanted to go ahead and get on that. But again, I just wanna say thanks for AGI for sponsoring this video. I'm about to go work out real quick. I gotta take this on the go, you know what I mean? Run a little bit behind, but you dig. Raining again. It's about to be off and on. But I just left the uh I'm getting a PCR test. I got a I got a flight today at uh 
7 10. I'm flying to, uh, I got a workout to do in Greensboro, North Carolina. So I'm about to go up there today. And then I'm only going there for a day. So I got a hotel up there. I'm gonna check in and stuff tonight. I get there, I think, at like 11 59 or 11 40 or something like that. And then my workout is the next day at 11. What? I'm on a slit. Why? Well, I think I got a. When they be putting new roads on like the thing, like one one little one lane be a new road and the other ones be like regular road. I don't know why when you get over it, they be having your car like slipping type deal. And the workout is at 11 the next day. And then my flight is tomorrow at, it's like a, just a one day turnaround thing. So my flight is tomorrow at seven. And we end the workout probably around like three something. So I don't know what I'm about to do. I got a layover in Atlanta. <laughs> so, yeah, depending how I'm feeling, I might mess around and, you know what I mean, stay in Atlanta for the night or two days or something, I don't know. But I'm going back to the crib. I'm gonna pack and stuff, clean the crib. So everything, you know what I'm saying, straight when I'm leaving. I come back to a, you know what I'm saying, smooth house. Got to uh Charlotte right now. I'm gonna hit y'all when I get to the hotel or whatever. So I'm gonna see y'all in a little minute. Since I had that ACI bowl probably around like 1, 1 30. I haven't did drank nothing, ate nothing. If I didn't have a workout tomorrow, I probably would have just fasted the rest of the night. Bro, let me tell y'all what happened. Dog. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, I was tripping, dog. Like, so I would post, I'm, I'm having a, like I said, I got a workout. And the workout was in Charlotte. I booked my flight thinking it was in Greensboro. You know what I'm saying? So when that was going on, bro, like, like that's how it just got to work, bro. I'm telling you, that's how it got to work. I get in Greensboro, and I get on the phone with my agent. And I'm asking him, like, ooh. Uh, like, I'm asking him, like, yo, when, uh, what's my call? No, what did I ask him? I was like, what are we practicing at? Because I wanted to see how far, like, I guess, driving-wise and stuff, it was going to have, like, smoothies or organic. You know what I'm saying? Food spots that I can eat at from, you know what I'm saying? When I leave practice or whatever. At first, he just brushed it off. He was like, shoot, I don't know, man. I don't know. So I asked him again. He was like, shoot, let me check. But so we, we, we chop it up or whatever. And then we get off the phone. He called me back. He was like, bro, you was not going to believe this. 
He said, the workout is in Charlotte. It's not in Greensboro. So, woo, I'm like, oh, shoot. Meanwhile, I had the hotel in uh, Greensboro. I had the car set up in Greensboro. I had everything set up, you know what I'm saying? And so we was basically finessing that the whole time. And yeah, bro, I'm here now, thank God. And it feel good. I actually used to come up here a lot. I ain't gonna lie, I used to come up here when I was at Atlanta, I would just come up here and just kick it. I was uh, visiting a friend and stuff up here, but uh, yeah, so I, I'm pretty much, I know like what's up like around here and stuff. Like, I know what street I'm on right now. And I'm definitely in like, I'm pretty sure downtown. I went down and I had to go to the, you know what I'm saying, customer service, whoop, tell them what happened. And shoot, they helped me out. They blessed me at first, but it was like, man, like if it was anybody else, I, don't, I couldn't even do it for you. You would have had to pay and all. I still could have finessed, but I would have had to pay on top of it. So I ain't had to pay, you know what I'm saying? So I had my flight booked up for uh, tomorrow. Like originally I had my flight, flight booked up for Greensboro at 7.59 was my flight. So the uh, good news is I got Charlotte, of course, <laughs> that's the good news, but like the hour got booked, up, like the hour got moved up to like six something. So that jump was crazy, bro. Like just going through all that, I'm like, if I didn't even ask that question, I would have went in Greensboro and was like, I would have woke up the next day like, where we at? And I would have been like, hold on now. I would have, you feel me? I would have got the bad news. Like you was not at the right spot. I don't know, but I just feel so peaceful right now. Like, I feel like I'm in the right area, right spot. Like just, just finally having fun with hooping again, dog. Like it just, man, just me being me, dog. Like get to travel, I'm doing YouTube. Like, I just feel blessed, bro. Like, I'm doing stuff that I love doing. Like, I'm doing basketball. I'm doing YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just it's just crazy, dog. I'm in a smooth hotel. Get to kick it. You know what I mean? Eat good. I got a... <laughs> I ain't gonna cap, bro. I ain't gonna cap to y'all. I did order a Beyond Burger with sweet potato fries here. Now, I know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, hold on, Phil. You just told... Bro, you just told us in the last video that, ooh... You know what I'm saying? That vegan food, not good. Go ahead. Y'all can throw the rocks at me. You feel me? Y'all go ahead. I'll take all the heat. I'm hungry right now. I ain't gonna care. And I looked it up. And I'm like, dang. You know what I'm saying? So I'm eating that. And then tomorrow in the morning, I'm definitely just gonna do, uh, because Whole Foods is around the corner for me. So I'm gonna end up doing like some banana walnuts. You know what I'm saying? Dates or, you know what I'm saying? Some simple stuff and some water fruits and stuff in the morning. And just call it a, you know what I'm saying? A smooth little day. And then probably eat afterwards, but that's what I gotta I gotta figure out. Uh, that's why when we get to the league, bro, that's gonna be a, a main thing that I'm gonna do is get a chef, like an Acoline chef. I want to do that for my mom, so that's really what's been on my mind for a little minute. That's how that's what I'm gonna do. So I might not even be able to record a burger while I'm eating because I ain't gonna feel right. You feel me? <laughs> Saying because I know y'all on the journey that I am too, so and I'm gonna be back to business when I get you feel me. I get back to the city. I would listen to Prophet Lovey on a sermon, The Chosen, and just stuff that he be. Man, I'm just glad I listen to him now, dog. It just opened my mind, my mind up. It just how you looking at life way, way different than how. You know what I'm saying I used to honestly, and it just it just more peaceful, dog. Peaceful, and it just feel good to be doing. You know what I'm saying God's work and doing. I'm saying what you love also. I ain't saying God's work is always going to be something that you love doing. He might tell you go talk to a uh, hundred million people. You know what I'm saying? And tell you to say something. You like, hold on, I can't do that in front of all them people. You feel me? So I ain't saying everything just all, you know what I'm saying, roses and stuff. But shoot, this, this, this journey just really getting started, dog. It really just getting started. That's the crazy part about it. I'm about to kick it for a little bit. My food get here. I got to check on my food, see what, how far it is. But. Man, that why it's so cold. They got this mug on shit still. What? Nah. See, I don't know who is, man. Bro, it what? Hold on, so it's, hold on. So it was 50, 53? Man, and I like the cold, but this is OD. We're gonna have to put it on 72 for right now.
downtown pretty late. I spent the week thinking about the next day. It was easier than so much easier than. Or oh, like that time I picked you up outside of school. You said, screw my dad, I make my own rules. It was easier than so much easier than. Take me back to the, take me back to those easy summer days when we stopped at nothing, baby. Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby. They couldn't take us, they couldn't change us, they couldn't catch us if they tried. Now we didn't care at all about winter or spring or fall. We felt so alive. I just got done with the workout. I honestly really could have recorded in there. I really could, for real, for real. I could have put the camera, like, in a cut or something, but I just wanted to, you know what I'm saying? I just felt like just hooping, man. Getting in there, hooping, you know what I'm saying? Business trip, in and out. But I still, honestly, like, I'm going to end up, you feel me, recording stuff for y'all. I ain't even going, you know what I'm saying? But it was smooth, though. I, I played good, too. And I played, like, myself. I played, like, you know what I'm saying? Me being me, you know what I mean? I feel like the other time, the basketball stuff, like, I feel like so much, well, I ain't, ain't got to speak on it, but you feel me? It just, it just wasn't me. I'm saying, and yo, that's that. I mean, I feel like now this run is like I'm playing like myself. I'm feeling like myself. I ain't, you know, what I'm saying, thinking too much. I ain't, you feel me? I think before, I'm saying, I was feeling so much and taking L so much. I started overthinking and just, you feel me? Not just not playing like me of what I feel like I, you know, what I'm saying, I'm capable of and stuff. I feel like I'm doing an interview right now. <laughs> but yeah, dog. So that went down. And that was the Charlotte Hornets G League. And yeah, bro. And now we just sit back and wait. Whatever it is, what it is. I ain't looking at, you know what I'm saying, what I was doing. I did good, played good, played the right way, scored the right way. You know what I'm saying? And now let God handle that. And I just know I'm going to be wherever I need to be. That's why I ain't tripping. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be right where I need to be. And that's that's what we going on. So I got a lot of time. It's like 228 right now. So I don't even know what I'm finna do. I'm finna get something to eat. I just don't know if I'm finna end up eating in here. I really want to eat outside because it just looks so, you know what I'm saying? It looks so good outside, honestly. So that's what I'm really thinking right now. But hey man, shout out to the people that were uh man, I went to man, this YouTube going so global, man, and I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all don't even understand. And I I Look, I really mean that when I say that. I really appreciate y'all. Not even just just watching, just not even just watching the YouTube, but it's the fact that like y'all tuning in and y'all like y'all wanting to better yourself too. You know what I mean? And that's why I be getting motivated from just from that. You know what I mean? Like I just had a sermon the other day and I'm standing on that though. I don't care what I drive, I don't care what I get, I don't care what you know what I'm saying. I can have whatever, you know what I mean? I ain't, I am not, and I'm standing on, I ain't, cannot, and I will not serve money, bro. I can't serve money. Money gonna serve me, you know what I mean? That, that's just what it is. And I'm standing on that. That's how my dad was. That's how my heart is, dog. I'm not saying nice stuff is bad. Nice stuff, I love nice stuff. I'm gonna, I got expensive taste. And y'all know that too. I got, I got real expensive taste. I love it. I love, you know what I mean? I'm not saying I just don't like it, but it just, my heart behind it. I'm like, man, I ain't never gonna let this, you know what I mean? Get in my mind. I ain't never gonna let this get in my heart because it's just not me. It just, it just not. And that's the honest, honest trend. It's like I said, don't serve money. Let money serve you. And then serve God while you, the money's serving you. And that's what the sermon was uh, talking about. And it just, it just make life peace, more peaceful, dog. You ain't, you ain't worrying about, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just not praising money. And I think we get so mixed up in that, of money being an idol. Like, it just, it's, it's smooth to have the money. I'm not saying, you gotta have money to do stuff. You gotta have money to give. But when you serving it and you, Man, get to, go get you some money. Like, go, you know what I mean? Getting into all that type of business, bro. And you're going to get to a point where it don't satisfy you. Just had to speak on that. And like I said, I appreciate y'all, man, just for like, just watching it. And I'm saying that because I went to the workout, bro. And it's like, I'm human. I bleed the same way y'all bleed. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know what I mean? No matter how many followers I got, no matter if I got t 10 million, like, 
I'm going to be the same person. I'm going to act like the same person. I'm saying have the same heart. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say it. temptations ain't going to come in. And that's what come with it. But at the same time, like, I say that because, like, I went to the thing and it was people, like, that dapping me up. Like, yo, man, I rock with your YouTube, dog. And shout out to y'all, too, man. If y'all watching this video, I appreciate, dog, because I think people get so caught up, but they don't want to say that because, oh, it look like you, you know what I'm saying? You a fan of, like, this and that, man. We need to get out that mindset, bro. We just, we the same people, dog. Like, we still... We human, dog. Don't let this social media stuff fool you, bro. We human. We the same people. I'm the same way y'all trying to, you know what I'm saying, get on the path to God or better yourself. I'm doing the same thing. The same struggles y'all deal with, I deal with the same struggles. I deal with the same temptations. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. So don't don't let this social media stuff fool y'all thinking that people got money, they having the best life. And, man, that'd be... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. It was just smooth because like, I'm, I'm just peeping now. It's like the YouTube is it, it changing up, dog. To have, I'm going to a workout. People are dapping me up saying, man, I rock with your videos, man. Be smooth. I ain't going to lie, dog. So even folks coming up and saying that. having a, You know what I'm saying? Putting pride down type deal. Because folks don't really be wanting to say that because they think, oh, he already too Hollywood. So I'm going to show love. I might not be able to get to every DM. I be trying so hard. I know. A lot of y'all be asking me questions or sending me, you know what I'm saying, notes and all that stuff. And I, it'd be, it be so hard to kind of read through all of them. I ain't going to lie. But I'll be trying my best too, y'all, because I know y'all be sending, like, typing in messages through your heart. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to get that clear. If I haven't got to y'all, I apologize. You know what I mean? Still trying my best, trying to get to everybody too and take care of what I got to take care of too. So I'm just public announcement. I really appreciate y'all for even DMing me, even tuning in even trying to better yourselves you know what i'm saying and yeah right now i'm at a uh i ate here before luna's living kitchen so i'm probably gonna end up uh grabbing something to eat real quick i don't know if i'm gonna sit inside like i said or just kick it out here i'm probably gonna go in and order real quick and then come back out and see what's up i'm in a 15 minute parking spot and i've been here longer than 15 no cow Some we got going, y'all. This an organic restaurant or whatever. It's, this right here is like, it's like they did with wild rice or something like that. And then we got sweet potato mash with pecans in it. That's the gravy, but I don't really rock with gravy. Spot dang near Echelon for real. Then I got some waffles in there that they made and then walnut bread. And then I'm pretty sure that's it. But I'm gonna show y'all the other ones. But waffle right here. Some berries. And the walnut bread. This much straight. I ain't okay, but it ain't it ain't far far. But we still finna smash down. I ain't gonna cap down to y'all, dog. That food was not it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all for real. I ain't gonna cap. That was not the one. I still got the whole food back there. I got some bananas and stuff and some pineapple juice.
cat dog. <laughs> that rug was cheeks. <laughs> that rug wasn't it, man. But I, you know what I'm saying? Like on the on the Amazon thing, I think we got bamboozle, scam, something. Cause you know what I'm saying, like I saw like the picture I showed y'all on the Amazon thing it looked nothing like of what I got sent type deal. So I don't. I just, that mud just look like they just, I don't even know, dog. Y'all seen that? I took that mud right off the, you feel me? So I'm probably just gonna have to get like a, I already know what type of rug I'm gonna get to. And I was already thinking it, think about it. It's called, I guess a shag rug or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's gonna be the, you know what I mean, the thing, but. I, I was thinking, I don't like black just because a lot of stuff in my room is black, you feel me? But I don't think, I think that's the only thing that's gonna go good with it, you know what I mean? So, I'm gonna have to figure out something, honestly. But we gonna, I'm, I'm gonna figure out that this week and see what's up with that, you know what I mean? But right now, I just felt like getting out the crib. I woke up, and last night I got back and probably like, bro, my flight had got delayed, all that, bro, like, my flight got delayed to 11.50. So I ended up uh, at the airport for a little minute. We didn't take off to like, I wanna say 12. And then I got back, you know what I'm saying? I, I got back around 1.50, dang near 2, 2 a.m. And then my dog had picked up some food for me early, earlier type deal. So I ended up just grabbing the food, you know what I'm saying? Munching down on that. I just say much. I ended up eating that. Honestly, today I I keep it above with you. I ain't feel like making a smoothie at the crib. I'm a, actually I'm gonna make one later on today, but I just felt like getting out the crib, so I'm like, shoot, I might as well just get something while I'm out because if I didn't get this, I'm like, you know what I'm saying, what I'm what I'm finna do. So I'm really really just gonna be cruising. I definitely gonna try to hit the uh, crowd therapy joint. I'm saying today and uh, do that. I mean, to help my body out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. You strip me of all my fears. 